Hi everyone, welcome to Med Sketch. The toxin of the day is mercury. For ease, we have named the scene as aliens on mercury. So let's start with mercury in the background in the space. You can see a silver spaceship and on the right side of the spaceship, there is a planet. The planet is having a red dot in the top center. So the metallic form is represented by the silver spaceship and the sulfide group is represented by the red dot. So the sulfide group is also known as cinnabar or Ra Sindoor. You may have heard of Sindoor which is commonly used by Indian women. Generally, metallic mercury is a liquid metal with a brilliant silvery luster that is also referred to as quicksilver or para. Para in Urdu refers to mercury and it has basically two forms. One is the metallic form and the second one is the sulfide form. So let's talk about the category of mercury. So in the right corner, you can see a cross sign that represents the category of irritants, same as lead. So let's talk about the fatal dose and fatal period of mercury. So in the center of scene, you can see an alien celebrity or an alien politician, which is named as Mr. 12GM34 Pin. It may sound like a Korean name, but just to remember, Mr. 12GM and 34 Pin is representing the fatal dose and fatal period respectively. Mr. 12GM, 1 to 2 gram is the fatal dose of mercury and 3 to 4 days is the fatal period of mercury as well. Let's talk about the mechanism of action of mercury. So just on the left side of our irritant board, you can see a pair of surf and a liquid detergent. So the surf and water bottle or our hydra bottle just sound like self hydral groups. So basically it inhibits cellular enzymatic mechanism by combining with the self hydral groups. Also, it has a corrosive effect locally, which is represented by a corrosive sign on our surf packet. So let's talk about the sign and symptoms of the acute poisoning. So just on the right side of our Mr. 12GM34 pin, a metallic alien is standing on the ground and he is singing I love metals. He is having heart shaped bow tie and also holding a kidney bean in his left hand. Also the robe of the alien is grayish white. So basically there are two modes of administration in case of acute poisoning. Either it can be ingested in low concentrations. Secondly, it can be inhaled. So the alien on the right side is representing the ingested mode of administration. So it has I love metal sign. It was also used in our lead video. So it has a metallic taste. The heart shaped bow tie represents the constriction of the throat and the grayish white robe is representing that mucous membranes are corroded and also you can see he is holding a kidney bean in his left hand that represents the renal failure. So just remember if mercury is ingested in low concentration, it acts as an irritant poison, it has the metallic taste, it causes constriction of throat, mucous membranes are corroded and appear grayish white. Also, you can see renal failure and circulatory collapse leading to death. Now we are coming to our Mr. 12GM34 pin. So you can see he is delivering some sort of speech and saliva is coming from his mouth. And on his desk, you can see sign of lungs is present. Also, you can see the mouth of our Mr. 12GM is quite wide. So they are representing stomatitis, salivation, metallic taste, pneumonitis and also there can be kidney damage in case of inhalation also so just remember salivation from the water drooling from his mouth pneumonitis from the lung sign and metallic taste and kidney damage are common in both of the forms so let's talk about sign and symptoms of chronic poisoning some of the symptoms are very similar like excessive salivation and a metallic taste but some of them are very specific so the chronic signs and symptoms are represented by our hatter industry. So the hatter industry is itself representing an important feature that is the hatter's shake. So the hatter shakes is a typical tremor that affects the hands, arms and legs. The hatter shake is very common among the hat industry workers. Just in front of our hatter industry, you can see a brain shaped alien. 
So this character is representing the mental symptoms of chronic poisoning that are also known as erethism. And erethism are a peculiar disturbance of the personality characterized by shyness, irritability, tremors, loss of memory and insomnia. And it is very common among workers in the mirror industry as our brain character is sitting in front of glass door of the hatter industry. Also on doors and glass windows of the hatter industry, you can see metallic eyes on it. So they are representing an important characteristic that is known as mercurial lentis. So there is discoloration of the capsule of lens that can be observed through a slit lamp. You can also see a bluish black line just beneath the industry on the ground. This line was also present in lead video where it was known as Bertonian line. Similarly, a bluish black line can also be present on gums that is indicative of mercury poisoning as well. So let's talk about the post-mortem appearance of mercury poisoning. So the post-mortem appearance is represented by a yellow alien, a yellow funny alien that is on the left side of the hatter industry. As you can see, his tongue is a bit white. And on his body, you can see injured kidneys and GIT. So basically, in the post-mortem appearance, tongue is white. In the upper GIT, mucosa has corroded appearance. Ulceration can be seen. And there is inflammation of small intestine that is represented by the damaged intestine in the figure. Similarly, the sign of kidney is representing that kidneys are congested in the post-mortem appearance and liver and heart may show fatty degeneration as well. So let's talk about the medical legal importance of mercury poisoning. So on the left side of scene, you can see an antiseptic solution, a mop in the tub and an accident report with a sign of antibacterial on it. So basically, mercury is used in antiseptic solutions and in bleaching creams that is represented by the plus sign bottled and the accident report. Also, it is used in vaginal douches. So you can see there is a mop in the tub. So that is representing that it is used in vaginal douches as a botificent. And it can also be used as diuretics as well. So suicidal and homicidal cases are very rare. But accidental poisoning can occur when used as antiseptic solutions or as vaginal douches. So let's talk about the treatment of acute and chronic poisoning. So you can remember the acute poisoning from the figures just in front of our Mr. 1, 2, G, M, 3, 4 pen. So you can see just in front of him there is a pencil on the desk. And on the ground, you can see our classical gastric lavage bottle along with a vital chart that is having letters of BAL. So basically, we have to maintain vitals and gastric lavage is indicated in acute poisoning. BAL, which is also known as dimercaprol and penicillinamine are used as antidote and rest of the treatment is supportive. So just remember, you have to maintain vitals, you have to give a gastric lavage, BAL and penicillinamine. So let's talk about the treatment of chronic poisoning. So just above the head of our yellow alien, a balloon has escaped from his left hand. So on the balloon, you can see urinary bladder sign is present. So basically, the treatment consists of removal of the patient from exposure of mercury. So we are representing this with the balloon that is escaping the surface of mercury. And the urinary bladder is representing that promoting the elimination of mercury by bowel and kidney is also indicated in the chronic poisoning of mercury so just remember that you have to remove the patient from the exposure and you have to promote the elimination so it was all about mercury poisoning so if you have any questions you can drop in the comment section till then take care for detailed literature of toxins refer our textbook excel forensic medicine and toxicology available at all major medical bookstore all over pakistan